Good evening, everybody. I'd like to call the order the July 21st, 2022 um, Mount Carmel Area School District Board meeting. Pledge allegiance, please. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Moment of silence. Thank you. Mrs. Whitaker, roll call, please. Mr. Ballard? Here. Mr. Brecker? Here. Mr. Breck? Here. Mr. Gonzalez is absent. Mrs. James is absent. Mrs. Whitaker is here. Mr. Muldowney is here online. Mr. Reno? Here. And Mr. Zach? Here. Thank you. And um, moving to announcements, I believe Mr. Chatter would like to start that off with the PowerPoint presentation. Yep, thank you, Mr. Brecker. I'll be brief tonight, but just some announcements uh, from the principal's office. So again, first of all, thank you to the Susquehanna Valley United Way. Our district was lucky enough to receive a $4,500 allocation award that will go to our summer coppice camp. We ended our sixth coppice camp this summer. Uh, and again, we, we are very thankful for, for the efforts of Bucknell University, the United Way, who's a major contributor to our camp, and the CSIU and other local donors towards our program. So again, thank you to the United Way uh, for that allocation award of $4,500. Reminder to our community, and thank you to the latest uh, community members that purchased bricks. Uh, our, our latest brick order will be placed for week number two Dunmore game. And again, a reminder to our community that our next order will be done by October 1st, and we'll make sure we get those bricks placed by our first uh, knock on wood home playoff game. Um, just some school back to school dates that you guys that our community could check out our main website for more information. Uh, Wednesday, August 17th will be kindergarten orientation and our junior high, senior high open house, followed by elementary open house for grades first through third on the 18th, elementary open house for grades four through six will be on the 22nd, and then we're already planning for our first day of school on August 23rd. Uh, just a reminder to our community to check out our employment page in our main school district. There are many open positions from teaching positions to aid positions to substitute teacher positions. Um, there are great opportunities available, great hours, um, work for a great team here at Mount Carmel area. So if anybody needs some more information about those positions, don't hesitate to reach out to either myself or any administrator. Uh, finally, I, I would like to just to take some time, and I know some others are probably going to mention some things about our, our uh, junior, senior high uh, principal, Mrs. Verano. Uh, I was lucky enough to work with Mrs. Verano for I believe eight years as junior high principal while she's the high school principal and curriculum coordinator. Um, I, I don't know if we could find another person. I know we said this about Greg, but uh, when he retired and Mr. Steller, when he retired as superintendent, uh, I'm not sure if anyone could love our district and love Mount Carmel area more than uh, Mrs. Rano. Um, she was great to work with. She was a great leader in this district. We're very lucky to have her as an athletic coach as well. And her accomplishments speak for themselves. I'm certainly going to miss her. And I, I know our administration is going to miss her. I know Mrs. Rano hates this part. I know she hates when people talk Talk about her. That's just the, her her personality. Um, but again, what she's done for this district, um, she deserves so many thanks for, uh, from all of us. So again, thank you, Lisa. We're lucky enough to have Lisa for a few more months. Um, we're hoping to keep her on in some sort of smaller role. And obviously, she's still going to stick around. And we're lucky enough to have her around as our as our girls' basketball coach. So again, thank you, Mrs. Verano. And at this time, this, that is all I have, Mr. Brecker. Hey, Mr. Cheddar. Thank you. Uh, next on the agenda, approval of minutes. Uh, a motion is needed to approve the minutes of the June 16th, 2020 regular board meetings. Motion. Thank you, Ms. Second. Sorry to slow with this. The motion was made by Mr. Zach and second by Mr. Brown. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Bell. Yeah, uh, Okay, Mr. Balliot? Yes. Mr. Brecker? Yes. Mr. Brick? Yes. Mr. Gonzalez is absent. Mrs. James is absent. Mrs. Latour votes yes. Mr. Muldowney? Mr. Muldowney? I heard him say uh, yes. Thank you. Mr. Reno? Yes. Mr. Zach? Yes. Motion passes 7 Do we have a PTA representative report today? 
Okay, then um, next on the agenda, any guests desiring to speak to the list of agenda items? If so, please state your name and address. No online comments at this time. Thank you, Gary. <coughs> Administrative reports, Mr. Chatter? Uh, nothing else to report at this time, Mr. Brecker. Okay, principal reports, uh, Mrs. Verano. Um, yes, good evening, everybody. I uh, just want to thank Mr. Cheddar for the kind words. I appreciate that very much. Um, I also just a few things that I want to mention. Uh, Mr. Cheddar mentioned our open house back to school dates, but I'd like to just talk a little bit about summer school. Summer school has ended, but if there is anybody out there that has any questions or concerns, uh, please contact the principal's office. It may not be too late to get some work done before the school year starts. So um, also a reminder that our buddy bag distribution continues throughout the summer months. So if there is anybody who is in need, please call the high school principal's office or I'm sure the elementary principal's office and we can point you in the right direction. And that's all I have this evening. Thank you, Mr. Brecker. Thank you, Mrs. Rano. Mr. Dara, junior high school. Hello, everybody. Um, also to hit on summer school, the tier one of summer school is complete. Uh, students completing tier two, the deadline is tomorrow, uh, July 22nd. I've been working on scheduling seventh and eighth grade students and uh, just want to let everyone know that our handbook is complete and is now up on our school website. So if parents and students want to check that out for some updates on the, the dress code policies and things like that, all that stuff is now on there. Um, and I would also like to take a minute to congratulate and thank Mrs. Rano for everything she's done for the school, specifically me. Um, she's always the person became the junior high principal I went to. I asked her a million questions. Um, she was always very pleasant, and very helpful um, to me. So thank you, Mrs. Brown, congratulations. Email Metry. Hi, yes, I'm up. I'm just step and help you this evening. Um, just a reminder to any families who have to register their kindergarten students for the upcoming school year to do that as soon as possible or to finish your packets so that we can um, get your students, um, your children on a, a class list, which those assignment letters will be sent home in August. Uh, Mr. Cheddar went over the open house uh, and orientation dates, but one to add to that is the pre-K orientation, which is going to be Tuesday, August 16th from 12.30 to two o'clock, and then the students will do their bus run at two o'clock. Um, our summer school at the elementary wraps up next week. Um, we had a successful summer school um, a lot of students attended. Um, thank you to the kindergarten teachers for working throughout the summer to complete kindergarten screenings for all new kindergarten students. And a special thank you to the custodial staff for all the hard work in preparing the school for the upcoming school year and to our secretaries for all of their help in getting ready for the upcoming school year. And I just wanna take the time to say congratulations to Mrs. Brano as well. Um, I, she's, I, when I started, she was at the elementary school. So I taught with her over there and then had administration a couple of years with her and just a good person her and some new some input were through learning how to become an administrator. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, special education, Mrs. Edmondson. Hi, good evening. I only have a couple of things this evening. Uh, number one is uh, we wrapped up our extended school year program today. Um, so the students and uh, had a great um, summer, a lot of learning happening and a lot of fun as well. Um, so thank you to the teachers that um, helped coordinate that for our students. Um, and then the second thing is, um, and I don't want to steal the thunder of the athletic department, but I just wanted to mention that we are um, going to be starting a bocce team this year. So I'm sure, you know, Mr. Um, Scavage may mention this as well. So we're really, really excited. Um, to get that rolling um, for a winter sport this year. Um, and also I'd like to say thank you so much to Mrs. Verano. She, and congratulations. She was um, a big um, help and someone that I always felt like I can go to if I had any questions um, when I was new to the district. So congratulations and um, I wish you all the best. Thank you, Mrs. Edmondson. Um... Maintenance, Mr. Brosh. Yes, good evening. I'd like to start off by thanking Lisa Verano for her years of service. Um, she has been nothing but good to the maintenance department and the staff. I, I thank you. Um, a few things going around, around the district. Um, the gymnasium, uh, Modern Fold was in here. 
Um, they completed the repairs in both buildings to the backboards. Um, they also inspected our dividing doors in the auditorium. They'll be getting a quote back to us. Um, down at the stadium, the handrails um, on the bleachers and the outside press box windows got a fresh coat of paint. Uh, thanks to Dominic. Um, they also... Are you still there? Yeah, we can hear you. We can hear you. Okay, I was getting a beep through Zoom. Um, they also um, replanted uh, grass on the sidelines in the practice field. That looks great. Um, big thank you to Craig, Jake, and Dominic for always making the place look like a top. Um, the pool pack, still ongoing issue. We're going to solve that. We're working with, with McClure, waiting on a quote uh, that will be taken care of. Um, the renovation we have going on in the elementary. Um, we're going to have two crane picks. They're waiting on um, the last unit. So we're still on track for the startup date on the 12th of August. Um, as well as the summer work, I'd like to thank the staff. They're doing a great job getting the place ready. And I couldn't ask for a better group of employees to work with. Um, and that's all from me. I thank you. Thank you, Mr. Brosh. Athletic Director's Report, Mr. Gregory Andrew Sikavich. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to uh, add on to what Nicole says. Uh, we uh, were approved to have a bocce ball uh, team. Uh, we're getting some funding from the Special Olympics for that. And we uh, look forward uh, uh, to having not only uh, some of our special needs students, but some of our regular ed students participating in that. There'll be more information uh, coming out uh, on that. It is a winter sport, so uh, there are a few months ahead before we start that up, but we are excited about that. There's uh, five other schools in the region uh, that have that, so we're joining them, and uh, looks like uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, sports physicals are coming up uh, September 29th at 8 a.m. and August 5th at 4 p.m. They'll be in the gymnasium. Oh, July 29th. Sorry. Uh, 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. And they'll be in the high school gym. And thanks to the help for, from Dr. Uh, Jeffrey Greco and Thomas Rawley from uh, Star Physical Fitness for uh, offering that. It's going to cost $20 for the physical. Uh, again, we're doing this only as a courtesy. Anyone can go to any licensed physician that they uh, see fit, be it their own or anyone else. As long as that physical is uh, done and a uh, PIAA sports physical form is completed in turn one. No athlete can participate in sports in PIAA without having that form. And so we encourage everybody to get that done now and not wait. And uh, that's just one less thing you have to worry about. Um, I just wanted to say my own piece about Mrs. Morano. She has been a, uh, a friend to me, but also uh, a, a fellow administrator. I, I've had a unique ability, not only to work her, with her as a fellow principal for a while, but also as an athletic director. And uh, she will be sorely missed here, but never forgotten. And uh, I just want to thank her and wish her well. But I just want to say one more thing. I know she'll get bumped out of me, but I'll say it anyway. You know, when I was growing up, and maybe when Mrs. Latour was growing up, she'll remember when we were kids. Principal of the high school was a man named uh, Vincent McHale, and he was a legend, right? And uh, he passed on, and a, a gentleman moved into that po position named Mr. Brano. And he uh, took over, and he was my principal and oversaw my education for a long while. And he was a great guy, and uh, I was proud to know him. And I know that being Lisa's father-in-law, he looks down at her and he's just as equally proud of her as her own dad is right now of her. So I wish her well and uh, thumbs up to you. Thank you. That's my piece. Thank you, Mr. Sakavage. Next is uh, athletic items. A motion is needed to approve athletic items one through seven as listed. Motion by Mr. Balliot, second by Mr. Rano. This is a roll call vote. Mr. Balliot? Yes. Mr. Brecker? Yes. Mr. Britt? Yes. 
Mr. Gonzalez is absent. Mrs. James is absent. Mrs. LaCour, yes. Mr. Muldowney? Yes. Thank you. Mr. Reno? Yes. And Mr. Zach? Yes. Motion passes 7. Moving on to financial items, a motion is made to approve financial items one through four. Motion. Motion by Mr. Zach, second by Mr. Reno. This is a roll call. Mr. Valiot? Yes. Mr. Brecker? Yes. Mr. Brick? Yes. Mr. Gonzalez is absent. Mrs. James is absent. Mrs. Lipsville votes yes. Mr. Muldowney? Mr. Reno? Yes. And Mr. Zach? Yes. Motion passes. Right. Made a report. Does anybody have any update, update regarding the Mount Carmel Area Education Foundation? Uh, Mr. Brecker, the only update is we were originally scheduled to meet this evening, but we have some members that are not in town, so we are going to reschedule our meeting for the August meeting. Okay, thank you, Mr. Chatter. Next on the agenda, new business. A motion is made to approve new business items one through 15 and as listed. Motion. Second. This is a roll call vote. Mr. Balliot? Yes. Mr. Brecker? Yes. Mr. Brick? Yes. Mr. Gonzalez is absent. Mrs. James is absent. Mrs. Latour votes yes. Mr. Muldowney? Mr. Reno? Yes. And Mr. Zach? Yes. Motion passes. Personnel items. Uh, a motion is needed to approve personnel items 1 through 13 as listed. And since number 4 wasn't complete, I will fill in the blanks and read that one. Approve the hire of Shane Corrigan as secondary biology teacher at Step 3 Masters with a salary of $37,159 with benefits as per the teacher CBA. Make the motion. Motion by Mr. Valiant, second by Mr. Nano. This is a roll call. Mr. Valiant? Mr. Brecker? Yes. Mr. Brick? Yes. Mr. Gonzalez is absent. Mrs. James is absent. Mrs. Latour votes yes. Mr. Muldowney? Mr. Reno? Yes. And Mr. Zach? Yes. Motion passes. At this time, are there any public comments and questions? Mr. Brecker, I just got one thing in my report I wanted to bring up. Uh, I do have one thing that came in the mail several months ago. And I don't want to embarrass Lisa one more time here because I have so opportunities to do this. But, you know, uh, the PIAA, the Institute of Wisdom, waits a long time to pass information on. And it comes down from the National Federation. And then we went into pandemic mode. And people weren't at meetings. And people were at meetings. I finally got to see Lisa here in person. But this came in several months ago. And I want to give it to her to the National Coaches Association. She was named the 2020-21 State Coach of the Year in Pennsylvania, and it was officially acknowledged by the National Federation of High School Sports. So I want to give that to her right now. She was intentionally sitting there. Yeah. <laughs> Should we reenact that? That's up to them. I can't force it to. That's up to her. What? <laughs> I think if you get a nice right next to that tree, it'd be a great picture. Your front page photo here. A lot better. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Coach of the year. All right. Well, before we make a motion for adjournment, Mrs. Brand, I'll add to the, and on behalf of the school board, um, certainly. Congratulations and, and retirement, best wishes. And um, there's not a lot we can say other than taking that motion off the agenda, not voting for it. Um, but congratulations again. And, and um, you know, you're a wonderful person. You play hardest effort with MCA. And that's the, that's the first thing I think of when I see it.
but um, thank you. And and um, now uh, we can have a motion for adjournment. Motion. All in favor? Aye. Motion passes. Correct. Thank you for reminding me. The next meeting is going to be changed. Um, it was initially scheduled for August 18th, but it's going to be moved to August 11th, 2022, with a start time of 7.30 p.m. Thank you. Hey, everybody have a good evening. You too. All right. Good night.